Home Assistant has some great energy monitoring capabilities built into it, and it works with grid electricity, solar panels, battery packs like a Tesla Powerwall, and natural gas. This dashboard gives you information about how much energy you're using each hour, day, week, or month, and how much that's costing you. I've never really used it before. I'm quite fortunate to have a decent job that pays really well. I've never paid that much attention to how much my electricity bill costs each quarter, and I've signed up for a green energy tariff that allegedly provides me with energy from renewable sources. But in October 2022, the UK, like many other countries around the world, saw its energy prices skyrocket at a rate that I've personally never seen before. I saw my own per kilowatt hour price increase overnight from 30 pence to 54 pence, a whopping 80% increase. This means that it costs me 80% more to run my washing machine, 80% more for every hour of television watched, and 80% more to cook a delicious Sunday roast in the oven. 80% is a lot, and I thought this was a great excuse to get myself some smart home products that measure energy consumption and start using these capabilities in Home Assistant. Let's take a look at how it all works. Now I don't have any fancy solar panels or battery storage devices. I use gas for cooking, hot water and heating, so there's not really a lot I can do to minimize my gas consumption other than turn the thermostat down. I figured the best place for me to start was by measuring how much electricity my whole house was using each day and how much that cost me. I actually get this information sent to me at the end of each day as a notification, so stick around until the end of the video and I'll show you how to do that. There are many, many ways to get this electricity usage information into Home Assistant, and different methods will work for different electricity setups. Some electricity meters support accessing them locally via a special physical port, or some sort of Zigbee-like protocol. Some energy companies have APIs that let you download your own usage information. All of these methods can be found on the Home Assistant website, and I've linked to it in the description below. You'll need to find the one that works best for your house. I've opted to use a CT clamp sensor, which is a device that you clamp around the main electricity cable coming into your house. It figures out how much electricity is being used by measuring changes in the magnetic field generated by the current flowing through the cable. This method will work with almost any house and electricity setup, and there are lots of different devices like this available on the market. Here you can see an AOTech home energy meter, which connects via Z-Wave, and the Shelly EM, which uses Wi-Fi. I don't really use Z-Wave devices, and the Shelly EM is actually the one that's recommended by Home Assistant, so I went with that one. I got an electrician to wire the Shelly into my electrical switchboard and connected the clamp around the cable coming into my house. I then connected to the wireless network that the Shelly was broadcasting, and used my web browser to navigate to the 192.168.33.1 IP address. If you get a message from your phone telling you that there's no internet connection on this Wi-Fi, tell it to stay connected. Once you've loaded up the Shelly web interface, you should see the current power usage being reported at the top, and you can then follow the steps to connect it to your existing Wi-Fi network. All of the instructions on how to wire it up and connect it to your network come in the box, so you should be able to follow these at home. Once I added it to my wireless network, it was immediately detected by Home Assistant. I clicked the handy configure button, and the sensors and entities were added immediately. After a few minutes, I had the power and energy data available in these sensors. It's here that I need to explain the difference between power and energy. A common mistake that many Home Assistant users make when they first use the energy dashboard is confusing these two related but different concepts. Electrical power is measured in watts, and is analogous to the speed at which you are pulling electricity at that exact point in time. The more powerful the device is, the more power it uses. For example, an oven uses more power at any given time than a mobile phone charger because it's heating food rather than charging a small battery. Electrical energy is measured in kilowatt hours, and is the total amount of electricity that has been used over a period of time. So basically the sum of all the electrical energy that's been used. If you turn an oven and a mobile phone on for an hour, the oven will use more electrical energy over that time period than a mobile phone. I'm probably explaining that poorly, and I'm sure that people will do a much better of it in the comments below. But for the Home Assistant dashboard, we're really interested in the electrical energy, not the power, so make sure you're picking the right sensors. You can access the Home Assistant energy panel from the Home Assistant navigation menu, and if you've never used it before, you'll be shown a setup wizard. We'll start by adding our grid consumption data, and pick the Shelly EM energy sensor from the list. We'll then put the price that we're paying per kilowatt hour in here, so that it can help us calculate the cost of our usage. 
So I'm then going to skip through the other parts because I don't have any solar or battery storage devices right now. And eventually you'll be taken to the dashboard. Don't be concerned if it's all empty, if you've just installed the sensor. It may take a while to start collecting the energy usage information. Over time, as you collect more energy usage history, the dashboard will become more useful. Let's take a spin through a demo setup of the dashboard so you can see what information it gives you. This demo has more sources, including solar and gas, so it will look much cooler than the one I've got. By default, the dashboard will show you how much energy you've used that day, broken down into hours. If you have solar, battery, gas, or other sources hooked up, you'll see them on the dashboard in more elaborate charts, but the concept remains the same. Depending on how much data you've collected, you can change the view to see this information over different time periods. You can also compare the time period you've chosen to a previous period and see how your energy habits may have changed. In the top right here, you'll see an animated visualization of the energy distribution for the time period you've chosen which I think looks pretty darn snazzy. Underneath the chart, you'll see a breakdown of all of the sources you've added broken down into sections, along with the cost of the energy consumption or generation, and you can compare those between periods as well. Right at the bottom of the dashboard, you'll be able to see the energy consumption for individual devices and appliances to help you figure out which of these are contributing the most to your overall consumption. I get these figures into Home Assistant using smart switches like these to measure the energy usage of individual appliances. There are a lot of these available on the market that connect via Zigbee, Z-Wave, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. Here you can see one connected up to my washing machine, and I have these on lots of appliances around my house. They appear in Home Assistant with similar power and energy sensors to the ones provided by the Shell EM, and you can see here that I've run my washing machine a couple of times already today. Shelly also make power monitoring devices like the Shelly Plus 1PM that are designed to be installed at the back of your electrical socket. Just be aware that these need to be installed by a proper electrician. Once you've connected either one of these up to Home Assistant, you can go to the settings page, dashboards, and then energy. This is where you make modifications to the energy dashboard once you've got it up and running. Here you can add or edit your sources if you want to later measure solar and gas, and you can add in these individual devices. Just once again, make sure that you're selecting the correct energy measuring sensor from the list. Once you've added it, it may take a couple of hours to appear in the dashboard. And that's how you set up home energy monitoring inside Home Assistant. Before we wrap this video up, I'm going to show you some quick advanced tips for getting the most out of your home energy monitoring. Firstly, try looking for an integration in Hacks or an API from your energy company to tell Home Assistant what the current energy price per kilowatt hour is. My energy provider has an integration available that gives you real-time pricing information in a sensor entity. Home Assistant then lets you use this entity in the energy dashboard, and you can set it up in the configuration page like this. This makes your cost estimates far more accurate, and you won't need to make any changes if your electricity pricing changes. Secondly, if your energy company uses multiple tariffs like peak and off-peak pricing, you'll need to set those up separately. There's instructions on how to do this in the Home Assistant documentation, and I've linked to this in the description below. Thirdly, at the time of recording, I couldn't figure out any way to get the daily energy consumption and cost out of the dashboard to use in my automations. As a workaround, I created a utility meter helper using the Shelly EM energy entity that resets itself every day. This helper adds up all of the energy usage over the course of that day and resets itself at midnight. I then added another template sensor in my configuration.yaml file, which shows how much money was spent on energy so far that day. This is a template sensor that takes the values from the utility meter helper we just created, rounds them to the nearest two decimal places, and multiplies that by the per kilowatt cost entity from my energy company integration, also rounded to two decimal places. This gives me the amount that was spent so far that day on electricity. I've then added these to my Home Assistant dashboard, along with the real-time power usage to give me a snapshot into where we are at for the day. Lastly, I also use these new entities in an automation that sends me daily notifications each night at 11.55pm. This sends me a notification that tells me how much energy we've used that day and how much it cost. This helps me keep an eye on how our power bill is likely to look at the end of the quarter, and will help me make adjustments to our habits accordingly. Ideally, I'd like to get smart nudges throughout the day to help me use my energy in more efficient ways. 
I've actually got some pretty fun ideas on how to achieve that, and I'll be making some more videos about this in the future. I regularly make videos like this about home assistant, automations, and smart home tech. If this is your jam, then please subscribe to the channel so that you know when I release something new, and then together we can make your home smarter.